Well, uh, tonight sucked, starting off with the Mets. Uh, they lost 9 nothing in Game 1 of the NLCS. Uh, and then the Giants also played tonight, same time against the Bengals at MetLife, um, in which Daniel Jones just does not win primetime games. And uh, in about a minute and 40 seconds or so, uh, he's about to lose another one. Um, Giants are currently losing to the Bengals 17-7 uh, in a game in which the Giants defense balled out pretty much for the entire game, held Joe Burrow to under 10, po uh, under 10 points um, in the first three and a half quarters. Um, a lone miscommunication on defense led to a Joe Burrow 43-yard touchdown scramble. Other than that, he got pretty uh, he got beaten up pretty uh, bad um, by the Giants' defensive line. Brian Burns balled out today. Aziz Ajalari balled out. Dexter Lawrence, um, even the rookie Andrew Phillips, the slot corner, he balled out. Tracy Jr. He balled out. PPR monster right now in fantasy for him. He should be the starter going forward. Um, other than that, same old Giants football, good offense, good defensive line, good offensive line for the most part. Uh, Andrew Thomas had struggles, a couple of big plays. The Giants were burned on, um, by penalties committed to the offensive line, illegal man downfield. Um, Daniel Jones had a horrible interception in the first half. Um, but the, I mean, they, they were in this game the entire time. Uh, they just too many fourth down conversions, a missed field goal. Giants are like the only team in the NFL to be without their punter and their starting kicker. Um, Jones is just check down Charlie. These fourth and fives, these third and fives, it's just two receivers just running cross slants the entire time with the corners on their hips. They're just batting the ball down. Uh, the Giants are, are a pretty talented team. They are a well-coached team. Offense line, they have a good offensive line. They have weapons. I know Malik Neighbors uh, being without this game, two consecutive games in a row without Malik Neighbors, certainly doesn't help. But they look good in Seattle. I don't know what happened tonight uh, against the 26th-ranked defense for the Bengals. Um, Daniel Jones is just not not the guy. He uh, can never make the big plays. He has no clutch jeans um he doesn't look at any other receivers when he throws downfield everyone and their mother knows where he, the ball is going when daniel jones has the ball uh he always looks at his first read pretty sure i'd never even see him audible now the giants are trying to push the clock and get some points but it's it's not even worth it it's it's over uh giants will eventually look to two and four with a matchup against the philadelphia eagles next week and saquon barkley returning home a game that I wanted to go to, but at this point, with a 2-4 and four record, I don't really care to waste my money and be miserable watching this offense put up uh, zero points. Um, they are attempting a field goal right now to try to make it within one possession. Um, and I guess the onside kick, but they got no timeouts left. Let's see the kick. And it's no good. <laughs> so 17-7 will be the final. Uh, positive to take away from this game. Offensive line, for the most part, played pretty well. Uh, defense played excellent. Um, looks like we got two good steals in Tyrone Tracy, the running back out of Purdue that we took in the fifth round, and third round slot corner pick uh, Andrew Phillips from Kentucky. Um, defensive line keeps rolling. We look good. Hopefully we can turn it around, but at 2-4, and four, it's pretty much running is on the wall. This season is over. Um, no one really in the NFC East looks that good besides the Commanders, I'd say. But I'll update you guys more. Uh, another brutal loss in primetime for Daniel Jones and New York Giants. It's time to, uh, that we just admit that Daniel Jones is not the guy in the future for this team. Uh, playing quarterback for the New York Giants is a hard job, and he can cannot get it done. Uh, if I was the coach, I would look forward to uh, benching him for either DeVito or uh, give Drew Locke a chance. Um, Jalen Hyatt, again, he had a lot of playing time in this game with injuries to Mike Neighbors. Maybe he just sucks. Uh, aside from Daniel Jones just fucking sucking, maybe Jalen Hyatt just fucking sucks. He is a one-way receiver. He can only run straight downfield. Uh, he does not go up and get it at the ball point. Um, a lot of throws that Malik Neighbors would have made uh, catches. Jalen Hyde just has no interest in making plays. Um, but other than that, horrible night for a Mets-Giants fan. Both taking losses. 
Uh, Giants move to two and four. Uh, divisional game next week. I will update you guys any more news, and I will do a week preview probably around Thursday. As always, let's go Giants. Maybe one day we will be good.